Okay, so continuing my GeForce GTX 480 coverage, I thought, you know what? What's one of the big problems people have with all the current generation graphics cards? Wait. If you're shipping a system, or even if you're installing your system uh, in one place, but then you have to move it somewhere else, all of this weight hanging off the PCI Express slot and then the one little screw at the back could be a little bit of a problem. So I thought I'd take the 480 because it has such a beefy cooling system and compare the weight to a couple other top of the range cards on the market. So why don't we start with the GTX 480. I'm going to put it on my little scale here and I'll hold this up for you to see. So this is a two pound graphics card. That is all. Two pounds. All right. So then why don't I compare it to the 5870? Because I know at NCIX, we've been having a little bit of trouble shipping systems with, uh, with these Radeon 5000 series graphics cards. So this is also a two pound graphics card. So it's quite possible that our assembly department will need to ship your system if you have a GTX 480 in it, they'll might need to ship it separately and then have you install it yourself. So I'll make a point of doing an installation video for the GTX 480 in the uh, next little while. But just to get that point of reference, why don't we take the biggest bad boy of a uh, of a graphics card out there? This is the GTX GTX HD 5970, and let's throw that on the scale for comparison. So this is a 2.6 pound graphics card. That is. Uh, about 30% more than either of those other two graphics cards, but it also has 200% more GPUs on it, so you gotta kinda go easy on it there. So thank you for checking out my quick video on the weight of the GTX 480.